Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to connect MySQL database with your C Sharp window, Windows Form application. In this video, I will show you how to make a simple login application with your C Sharp and your MySQL database. So, for example, I have created a form which have username and password, and when I enter username and password and when I press login it gives me the answer that username and password is correct so this username and password it checks in the MySQL database so for example I have entered username 2 and password 2 which is also present in my database this is a MySQL database and I have database one database and in that I have a table called eData and here I have username and password and I have entered this username and password 2 and 2 and it's saying me yes you the, the username and password is correct and so this how can you make this login page I will show you today so let's get started first of all go to your form take a text box from here this one and drag and drop here like this so take two text boxes from your toolbox and drag and drop here so I have taken one and two I will delete this and take two labels from your toolbox this one drag and drop into your form and just change the text of this label from your properties so just <clears throat> go to the text and change it so for example I want to change it like username so I will write username in the text field and you can see username appeared here so like that I have provided username and password to my labels in the text so it's like a caption when you enter anything in the text it's it will appear in as a caption for your label okay so I will delete this just take two labels and two text boxes and one button and in the same way just go to the properties and change its text called login text so it login is appearing here <coughs> now for these text boxes I will go to the properties and I will change the name of uh, these text boxes like this username underscore txt so this is like a variable name for your text box so this variable we can use in the code which we are going to write for the, the login so change the name of the first text box as username because we enter in this text box username so username underscore text and second is password so select this and change the name as password underscore text and remember these variable names we will use it in the code okay now go to your button here just select this button and double click it and in here we will write our code same as the last time I have shown you how to make uh, the connection of C sharp with MySQL I will use few of the same lines here so first of all make a try catch block try just give this bracket and catch 
just close this try block here this bracket close and write catch exception ex and in the bracket write message dot show ex which is this variable name dot message in the bracket and bracket closed so this try catch block will catch the exception which will appear when we are writing the code or when we are executing our code now in the code part in the try block write string my connection is equal to your data source name is equal to localhost which I have shown you last time and I have explained last time what are these so I will not explain these this time just I will run through the code so write database is equal to localhost semicolon port is equal to 3306 semicolon user is equal to root and password is equal to root and just close it in the second line write my SQL connection my con is equal to new my SQL connection and pass this string here okay in the third line write my SQL command as select SQL this is my variable name you can select your variable name whatever you want so this is a command we are passing in the mysql so write mysql command select command is equal to new mysql command and then we will write our query so in here write in the brackets write select star from database dot table so this is my database name database dot the table name which is edata okay so I have written select star from database dot e table where username is equal to single quote in between double quote plus so it's like this it will be easier to understand just make two single quote and in between two double quotes and in between two plus signs and just write this this dot username text which is this text box name which I have shown you here in the properties and so write this dot username text dot text here so this username where username is the column name of my database this one username user underscore name and password is this okay so this username is my column name for the username and then after this username write and password the column name of the password is equal to single quote single quote here in between double quote in between plus and write this dot password text name text box name dot text and plus double quote single quote and semi semicolon and just close this quote comma my con so this is the variable name we have declared here my my con this one okay then write my sql data reader and give it a variable name in my case i have given my reader and then just copy this my con and paste it here dot open bracket and bracket closed then write copy this my reader here and paste it here is equal to select command which is this variable name dot execute reader bracket and bracket closed and declare an integer variable called count is equal to zero 
okay so this integer will count the number of username and password for a particular username or password i will show you in the f further code why i am using this and then write a while loop while this is not a big while loop just this one so this is my while loop which is ending here itself so write while copy this my sql data reader variable and paste it here dot read bracket and bracket closed and in here we will pass count is equal to count plus one okay so what does this code mean i will show you so we when we are passing the query select star from your database and it will search for the username which you have given in the text box and password you have given in the text box here okay so you have provided username and password in the text box so it will ta transfer this username and password and compare it with the, the present column values in the username and password in your database and it will check for the, it and when it opens a connection and checks for the username and password it will count that username and password so if your username and password is present it will count one and if your username and password is present two times it will count two times so count is will be equal to two so we don't want that because that is a duplicate username right so we will use this condition in our code to define a duplicate user so after this while loop just write if count is equal to one so if user and name and password is unique and it's present only once in your code count is equal to one in the if condition brackets write message box dot show in the bracket username and password is correct okay and then write else if count is greater than one then write message dot show duplicate username and password access denied so if the username and password is present two or more times then we will pass this message duplicate username and password else write message box dot show username and password is not correct so any other condition in any other condition username and password is not correct so please try again so we will pass this in the message box and then we will close our connection mycon dot close bracket and bracket close mycon is this connection variable name and this catch block i have explained you earlier also okay so i think you have copied this code and in case you haven't just copy this i will try to focus on the code as much as i want can so write this and in the next section this so copy the code if you want and then we will run the code and once again let's see what we have we have username and password 1 and 1 2 and 2 3 and 3 so for example i will pass 3 and 3 username and password it will check for the username and if it's present it says username and password is correct now 
if you can see here username 5 is present two times in my database 5 and 5 right username and password so when I enter 5 here and here also and when I press login it will say, say me duplicate username and password access denied because two user cannot here have same username and same password right so that's why we are showing this message so I have username and password up to nine let's let me see yes I have username and password up to nine so when I will enter the username and password which is incorrect or which is not present in this MySQL database then see what is the result so I will pass 122 any username and password and when I click login it will say me username and password is not correct please try again and when I press once again on correct password it will say username and password is correct so in this way you can make a simple login frame for your application in the further video if you can see this password is not protected so and anybody could be able to recognize your password so in the next video I will show you how to protect this password so that it will just show you the star signs or some other symbols so nobody able to recognize it so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now